All right, so I want to do a little bit of an introduction on this video, which is just to say that I'm an art student and I'm working my way towards becoming a professional artist and making a living with it and all that. And so these videos are a way for me to keep track of my progress so I can look back and see where I was in my early days when I'm, you know, doing well in life and just spreading my art wings and flying. So this is like my diary, my video diary, and I just sort of talk myself through issues and then when I am feeling down or I'm dealing with these issues because they keep coming up over and over that I can listen to these videos. So I, I sort of make these videos for myself so that I can listen to them myself and calm myself down and get myself in the right state of mind to succeed. So if you want to follow my journey, I'm on Instagram at Peter Jackson Anton. That's my, that's my username. I put the Jackson in there because there's already an artist named Peter Anton who does these chocolate sculptures. So when you Google Peter Anton artist, you get that guy instead of me. So I did Peter Jackson Anton, which has the problem of being Peter Jackson, who's the Lord of the Rings guy. So then you get him, but maybe I'll shorten it to PJ Anton. Anyway, so what I'm dealing with today is how do I deal with frustration? Because I'm learning oil painting and it's really frustrating and I've gotten pretty decent at drawing, not perfect or anything like that, but I'm definitely somewhat proficient. I can, I'm at least a good copyist. I'm working on learning how to draw structurally and draw from memory and all those things. But oil painting is just such a source of frustration for me right now. I'm, I'm starting and I'm even just doing black and white right now, oil painting. It's just the dealing with the medium and the solvent and how to handle the brushes and the thickness of the paint and working vertically on a canvas and all of that is just it's so I can't get the paint to do what I want it to do like mixing the right values and then putting them in the right place and then you get the shape right but you get the value wrong and then you go to correct one of them and you end up with the wrong value or you end up with the wrong shape and then you have to change it and you go back and forth and you do it right but then you mess it up and you can't just erase it because you're in oil paint so you have to paint over it but it's hard to paint over it because you're not you don't have facility with the materials yet so it's just frustrating <laughs> it's so frustrating and that's why most people don't oil paint, I guess. That's why a lot of people quit or a lot of people just make bad art. But I don't want to make bad art. <laughs> I want to make good art. So, I mean, frustration's good, right? Because if we're frustrated, that means we're doing the right things. Not always, but I can feel that I'm doing the right things right now, right? Because who's not frustrated? Who's not frustrated is the artist who's not challenging themselves. The artist who's just playing it safe and not trying to grow. Frustration, like difficult emotions are the price of admission if you want to be an amazing artist. And I want to be an amazing artist. I don't just want to be okay. I don't just want to be a hobbyist. I don't just want to be, you know, just someone who does it on the side. Like, this is the only thing there is in life for me, you know? <laughs> like, what else am I going to do? I don't have skills in anything else that could, like, you know, I could do, like, minimum wage work. I could work in a dog kennel. I don't want to work in a dog kennel. Who wants to work in a dog kennel? I mean, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with it if, 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 if you like it and you need to do it, but I don't want to do it. <laughs> it's just, it's the same thing over and over, day in and day out. And what's the ceiling on you know, walking dogs, or I, I love walking dogs, by the way, I do, I really appreciate, you know, I, I love all the dogs that I walk, and it's really nice, it's a nice side job for, uh, for art, but I don't want to be doing it when I'm 40, you know, I don't want to be training dogs, I don't want to be walking dogs when I'm 40, it's like, come on, I don't want to do that, <laughs> I want to be an artist, man, so all this frustration, I guess it's just you gotta keep in mind where you're going. You gotta keep in mind that the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to be 40 years old and I did the whole video on feeling like a loser and stuff and it's a matter of perspective, but I don't want to be 40 years old and be a crappy artist. Like, on a very real level, I don't want to be 
I, I don't want to feel like a loser when I'm 40. And not that, you know, if I'm not an artist by that point, you know, that, that'll mean that I'm a loser, but I just, I want to be successful, man. <laughs> like, ignoring all, like, the let's not be judgmental, let's not compare ourselves to others. It's like, I want to be a great artist, man. I just, I've wanted it for so long, and I just, these are the trials and tribulations, right? This is why there are so few great artists. There are so few artists that we look at and go, like, wow, that's amazing, and not only can they copy, but they can also create stuff uh, from imagination or you know they can take reference and do amazing things with it and they can tell stories and well this is why there are so few of them right because they you just encounter this frustration and most people quit or they turn around and run so what are we going to do we're not going to quit we're not going to quit get it out of your head you're of course you're not quitting of course you're not just going to draw of course you're not just going to oil paint talk to myself peter of course you're not just going to draw you're going to learn how to oil paint it's going to be hard that's of course it's going to be hard it's it's a new skill you're learning something new new things are always going to be hard and if you're not doing new things then you're just drowning in comfort you know why are so many americans depressed especially the privileged ones especially the ones who have everything especially the ones who have food and money you know and all the luxuries you could buy why are so many of them depressed well because they don't have any you know, real it's not that they don't have stress. They got plenty of stress, but they don't have challenges that are deeply meaningful to them. They don't have those the, like, the things that ah, stir them up inside. So this frustration is good. Why is this frustration good? Frustration is good because it means you care. That's called passion. Passion is it's, it's anger plus love. So good that you're frustrated. That means you care about something. That means you're not you know just on, what's the drug? Prozac? Whatever the... Uh, Whatever the depression drug is, all these, you know, antidepressants that, like, people go on and it just it flatlines you because you're just covering up your, you know, your unsatisfying life and you, you've got your, you've got your house and you've got a whole bunch of things, but you're not happy. Uh, what I want, what do I want? I want great days. I want to, I want a house full of love, you know? I don't want an empty house, like, not empty house, but I've done a lot of pet sitting for people and I just I, I I've seen a lot of nice houses and I just there's there's something about when you see enough of that it's like this isn't any different from like a small apartment like it's it's not about the the nice stuff like that stuff doesn't make you happy like the comfort is the the comfort's the best thing about money but it doesn't make you happy so it's just I'm going through all this frustration right now, but the, the goal being that I want a life that I care about. I want a life where I have a house that's full of love, where I have family and friends who love me and care about me. And that's what it's about. And I'm not going to get that if I'm not living my best life. And my best life, I'm a painter or I'm nothing, right? If I, if I can't create, if I can't be a painter, pull, put a bullet in my head, you know? Like, what's the point in living without that? I mean... I, I am an artist. I'm if I, if I'm not creating, if I'm not painting, if I'm not drawing, I'm I'm a dead stick. <laughs> like that's everything to me. So the frustrations, like of course you're frustrated because this is your lifeblood. It's like if your blood stops pumping, like you're just the frustration is just that's you keeping the blood pumping. You know? That's like your heart beating. And Frustration's just like your heart beating extra hard to get you through. It's like when you're, you know, in a fight and your heart's beating extra hard because it's got to get the blood through your body. Well, that's all frustration is, man. It's just getting you excited. It's getting you pumped up. Come on, son. Come on, son. Do not quit. You're not going to quit. I'm not going to quit. I'm never going to quit. It's just... So what's the, what's the actionable step? Well, I'm done with painting for the day. I've put in my hours. I feel like I... I leveled up, I pushed myself, I got 1% better. So I'm not gonna quit with oil painting. I'm gonna keep persisting. I'm gonna persist, I'm gonna keep going with it because I wanna be able to teach this stuff to other people. And then when I teach it to other people, I can say, yeah, I was struggling too. And it was hard and it was frustrating and I wanted to throw the canvas, you know, just smash it. And I wanted to, you know, just throw out all my painting stuff. And I wanted to snap my brushes in half. And, 
Oh boy, it's frustrating. <laughs> but uh it's just beginner's pains and this is this is this is why painting will make me a better person because it's going to teach me to overcome frustration and persist when things get hard. So that's my video to myself. If other people happen to watch it and like it, well, that's cool, man. And I hope to see you on the Instagram page. I hope you follow me on my journey. I hope you make your own art and maybe give me a shout out and just uh, show me your art. Not give me a shout out to like, uh, you know, say, oh, thanks, Peter. Like, not that, but like, just, you know, hit me up on Instagram and say, hey, saw your videos. Uh, follow me back on Instagram and I'll totally do it because I want fellow travelers. I want to see other people who are leveling up their art. So if you, uh, just hit me up on social media and uh, show me what you're doing with your art, and I'd love to see it. Uh, yeah, so that's it. Um, cool. Frustration. It's like like uh, water off a duck's back, right? Just, nah, it's not even a thing. It doesn't mean you need to stop. It's just, uh, that means you love art, man. That means you love art. And uh, it's a signal not to quit, because we don't quit things we love right? Just because you uh, love art doesn't mean you're not going to like it sometimes. Sometimes you're going to get frustrated. Sometimes you're going to be angry. Um, it's totally cool. So <laughs> don't worry about being frustrated. Just, you know, do some other stuff. If you're done for the art, for, done with art for the day, just go uh, clean your room. Do other things with that you, uh, that you got going on in your life. Listen, in, listen to some music, uh, watch some anime, remember why you started doing art in the first place, just relax, and then tomorrow's another day, we're gonna get after it again. We're gonna, next day, next day, next day. Keep getting after it, y'all. Okay, that's it. Goodbye.